This is the first video in the Grasshopper Care series on Habitat. Hope you enjoy! Hi guys, Catgirl here and today I'm going to be doing the first video in the Grasshopper Care series on Habitat. For the habitat you will need some of these sticks. I would provide at least at least three sticks, one stick per grasshopper, and then add an extra one because they love to climb on sticks. You will also need leaves, but these are optional. For the soil, you can use normal soil, but I would personally recommend using potting soil or eco earth. The eco earth could also do one part eco earth one part soil make sure no matter what size container you're using to do at least one inch of soil the kind of containers you would be able to use now something this big is not suitable for any grasshoppers habitat at all because you need at least one inch of dirt and they need a like not even babies would be able to fit in this because there's not enough room for jumping space. This one, just throw it out the window. You can't have anything as small as these two. They are way too small for grasshoppers. Something like this. Uh, if you wanted to keep babies in it, you could do half an inch of soil and they would be able to hop around quite freely. Five newborns or three really small, really, really, really small ones. This one could probably fit one grasshopper that is about my size for their whole life. This is my snail habitat. It is a critter keeper and this would be able to hold loads of grasshoppers. It fills quite nicely with the bottom and they could jump freely. I would say about five maximum grasshoppers my size, but if you wanted to keep them for their whole life, three grasshoppers. This is perfect. This could hold two grasshoppers. These both could hold two grasshoppers for a while and this one for their whole life maybe, but this one I'm going to upgrade to a critter keeper. They are both really great, but the lids are really bad, so you have to try and find a lid which will fit. As you can tell, I found a lid that doesn't fit this one, but it's great for this one. I found it from another container, and I poked holes in it. And that's how you can get lids. Overall, this is the best habitat for them. And I would be giving mine one of these. Apart from the fact that I need to save up to get some of them. So. This is a great blend of soil for the snails and the grasshoppers. It is part eco-earth, part which is coconut fibre. You can also get it in blocks and grow it up. That's what I use because I can't find the bags. And then mix it with potting soil. If you don't want any bugs to get into the potting soil, bake it in the oven. And cleaning out their habitat should happen once a month or even more, depending on the amount of, amount of grasshoppers you have. You should give them more food every one to two days, depending on how quickly it goes bad. This corn is going to be taken out today. I put it in yesterday. If you are cleaning out the habitat, just take the grasshoppers and place them into a habitat. This would do. You don't have to put any soil. Just put lots of leaves and hiding places into it and poke holes in the lid. This will only be in there for 10 minutes, so it shouldn't be bad for them. Thank you so much for watching my grasshopper care video. Make sure to watch the rest of the series and my insect care series. Goodbye.